In this video, we will discuss the continuation of worksheet 3 questions of linear equations in two variables of worksheet 3. So, continuation, ninth question. If 19x minus 17y is equal to 55 and 17x minus 19y is equal to 53, then the value of x minus y is. So here uh, we need to find out x, we need to find out y as we know and then we need to find out by x minus y by substituting the values of x and y in this x minus y. But first in order to solve these both equations we know, know that either you can use substitution method or if I use uh, cross elimination that is if I use elimination method then I need to make the coefficients equal. So here if I observe here also I have 19, here also I have 17, they are not equal, here also 17, 19, they are not equal. What I can do is I can multiply this 17 with 19. So that here it becomes 17 into 19, okay? And I can multiply this 19 with 17. So here also it can become 19 into 17. And then I can subtract both as this will be minus and this will be plus if I subtract. So then I can eliminate these two y variables, okay? That is here also I have 19 into 17 and here also I will have 17 into 19. That's what I'm doing. This is first equation, this is second equation. So I'm multiplying this first equation with 19. So 19 into 19 x minus 17 y is equals to 55. This whole equation I'm multiplying with 19 and similarly this whole second equation I'm multiplying with 17. So 19 into 19 is 361 x. 19 into minus 17 y is minus 323 y. 19 into 55 is 1045. Here 17 into 17 is 289 x. 17 into minus 19 is minus 329 minus 323 y and 17 into 53 is 901. So if I observe here, here I have I have uh, successfully made this as minus 323y and here also I have minus 323y. Now both are same. What is the only difference? Here both are have same signs. So what I need to do? I need to subtract third and fourth equation. So that one will be minus, other one will be plus and both will get cancelled. That only I am doing. So here both are getting cancelled. Now as this is plus, this will become minus. As this is plus, this will become minus. We know in subtraction the signs will change. So if I observe this 289 minus 361, sorry 361 minus 289 if I subtract, I'll get the answer as 72. Okay, and which is bigger between 361 and 289, 361 is bigger, so the sign here is plus only. Now in this, since this is plus, this has become minus. So 1045 minus 3 uh, minus 901 is 144. And what is the bigger number sign here? Again plus, so this is plus only. Now x is equals to 144 by 72. If I subtract, if I simplify this with 2 because here I have 4, here I have 2, so I can divide by 2. 2 7s are 14, 2 2s are 4, then 2 3s are 6, 1 2, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6, 1 2, 2 6s are 12, 2 1s are 2, 1 6, 2 8s are 16, then here 3 1s are 3, sorry, 2 1s are 2, 1 6, 2 8s are 16, 2 9s are 18, then 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18, so x is equals to 2 I got. Now substitute the value of x in equation 1, so I am getting 19 into 2 minus 17 y is equals to 55, or 19 2s are 38, 38 minus 17 y is equals to 55. So 17y is equals to 38 minus 50, 55. So 38 minus 55 for subtract. 55 minus 38. 55 is bigger. 38 is smaller. So if I subtract, I'm getting the answer as 17. 17y is equals to minus 17. So y is equals to minus 17 by 17. So 17 ones are 17. 17 ones are 17. So y is equals to minus 1. Now I have x, I have y. I need to find out x minus y according to the question. So substitute x is 2. I have minus here. And y is already minus. So minus of minus 1. So 2 as it is minus into minus is plus. So 2 plus 1 is 3 which is option C. Now moving to the next question. The next question is if x by 2 plus y is equal to 0 0.8 and 7 by x plus y by 2 is equal to 10. Then the value of x plus y. Here also I need to find out x plus y. Okay. So observe is this equation standard? No it is not of the form a1x plus uny plus c1 is equal to 0. It is having fraction. So I will make this equation as standard. And here also I need to cross multiply and make this equation as standard. As here I have x plus y by 2 in the denominator. So here this y I can write as y by 1 and then LCM of 2 and 1 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 into x is 1x plus 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 into y is 2y is equals to 0 0.8. Now if I cross multiply, I'll get 1x plus 2y is equals to 2 into 0 0.8 is 1.6. So this is my third equation. And here 7 into 1 is 7, 10 into x plus y by 2. So 10 belongs to x, other as 10 belongs to y by 2. So 10 into x is 10x, 10 into y by 2 is 10y by 2. So 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10. So what is my equation? 7 is equals to 10x plus 5y. Now both the equations are in standard form. This is of the form a2x plus b2y is equals to c2 and this is a1x plus uny is equals to c1. I am uh, keeping this constant on this side only. Why? Because I am using which method? Subtraction method. That is subtraction. I am doing both of the equations. I am subtracting both the equations. That is why I am keeping this constant on the averages only. So if I observe here, here I have, uh, again the coefficients are unequal. Here the coefficient of x is 1 and the coefficient of x is 10. Here the coefficient of y is 2. Here the coefficient of y is 5. So both are unequal. What I can do is I can multiply this 2 with 5. So just 2 5s are 10. Here I will get 10. And here also I can multiply this 5 with 2 so that it becomes 
2 pi is 10. So here also I will have 10y, here also I have 10y. If I subtract these both, I will get 10y minus 10y. So both will get cancelled, 10y minus 10y. So that only I am doing. I am multiplying this third equation with 5, okay. So 5 into 1x plus 2y is equals to 1.6. And here I am multiplying this fourth equation with 2. So 2 into 10x plus 5y is equals to 7. I am rearranging this, okay. So subtracting both equations now. 5x plus 10y is equals to 8, okay. And 20x plus 10y is equals to 14. Now this is plus. As I am subtracting, the signs will change. This will become minus. This is plus. This will become minus. This is plus. This will become minus. Now always see the new signs already I said. So 5 minus 20 is 15. Forget about the old sign. As subtraction comes, forget about the old sign. Only concentrate on new sign. 5 minus 20 is 15. And bigger number sign is minus here. So minus 15x is, okay. These both are getting cancelled. Now this is plus. This is minus. And this is 14 minus 8. We know 14 minus 8 is 6. And bigger number sign here is the new sign is just minus 6. So minus here also, minus here also gets cancelled. So x is equals to 6 by 15. If I divide 6 by 15, I'll get 15 outside, 6 inside in division. I'm getting 0 0.4. Now substitute this value of x in fourth equation. So 7 is equals to 10 into 0 0.4 plus 5y. 7 is equals to 10 into 0 0.4 is 4. So 4 plus 5y. Why? Because 1, 0 is there. So if I multiply, I'll get um, 4. So 5y is equals to 7 minus 4 or 5y is equals to 3 or y is equals to 3 by 5. So if I divide again this 5 outside 3 inside, y is equals to 0 0.6. So now x I got, y I got substituting the value of x plus y. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 is 1. So x plus y is equals to 1. I'm getting the as the answer. Okay. Next question is very easy. If 6 comma k is the solution of the equation 3x plus y is minus 22 is equals to 0, then the value of k is. So this point is given to us. What is this 6 comma k? This 6 comma k is nothing but a point and only one equation is given to us. Always two equations were given, right? But here only one equation is given and point is given and I need to find out k here. So if you observe here, the point 6 comma k is of the form x comma y. This, that is, this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. Okay. So x is 6 and y is k. What I will do, I will substitute this x and y in my equation which is given to me. That is 3x plus y minus 22 is equals to 0. I will substitute here. So 3 into x value 6 plus k instead of y, what I am substituting? k instead of x 6. Minus 22 is equals to 0. So 3, 6 are 18 plus k minus 22 is equals to 0. 22 minus 18 is 4 and bigger number sign is minus. So minus 4 plus k is equals to 0. I'll send this minus 4 that side. So k is equals to 4 which is option A. So hope you have understood the answers. If you did, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please share the video with your friends. Okay, thank you.